okay today another important question we are going to see in the from the old question paper this question uh, little difficult but you can easily write in the exam the points which i have given here i made it very simple so you can follow this ppt when you are writing the answer in your exam okay so the question here is the question is conceptual models in psychiatric nursing the question is conceptual models in psychiatric nursing so first you must know what is conceptual model actually conceptual model means like we have many ideas we have many ideas we have vast knowledge all the knowledge we are joining together the conceptual model it is the organizing a complex body of knowledge what do you mean by conceptual model conceptual model means organizing a complex body of knowledge so how we organize by means of uh, when we have two three concepts we are joining that concept together that is linkage between various concepts linkage between various concepts related to human behavior may be represented in the form of a model so basically uh, models kya hota hai matlab hamara paas bahut sara ideas hai these ideas for example this is one idea i am having and i am having another idea so what i am going to do i am going to make all my ideas which i am having i am going to connect it together so like this when we make all the ideas together that becomes a conceptual model okay conceptual model is nothing but linking all the ideas all the knowledges together now psychiatric nursing practice we are having various conceptual model these conceptual models are applied in the practice also this conceptual model gives idea how to treat the mental disorder and the conceptual model gives idea how a disease comes the conceptual model gives idea how to treat a mental disorder the conceptual model also tells how the disease comes in a person now let's see what are the different types of conceptual models we are having so in psychiatric nursing these are the five main conceptual models you must know the first model is psychoanalytical model second one is interpersonal model third one is social model fourth is ex existential model fifth one is medical model now let us see one by one in detail first is psychoanalytical model so psychoanalytical when you study every model you must know who is the founder of that model there may be some person that person have given uh, this model so psychoanalytical model is given by father of psychoanalytic theory that is sigmund freud sigmund freud gave the psychoanalytical model so according to psychoanalytic uh, model what they are saying matlab the life may like uh, we are getting any kind of problem in the adulthood period like uh, during adulthood period you you have some kind of mental problems like depression you have mania or you have schizophrenia so they are saying that all those problems are coming from the earlier developmental stages so you you know that psychoanalytic uh, sigmund freud have given five stages oral stage anal stage phallic stage uh, and aur kya kya hai latent stage genital stage okay so these are the five stages of psychoanalytic theory so what sigmund freud means to say that any problem any kind of psychiatric problem which is present in the adult that is coming from the developmental stages in the bachpan period samajh gaya beta so this is the uh, finding of the psychoanalytical model and psychoanalytic model also says that there is one kind of 
energy present in our body that energy is called as sexual energy that energy is called as sexual energy that is called libido this libido is a psychological energy which forms fixer to an attempt to deal with anxiety bachpan period mein in our bachpan period there is one energy called libido libido is a psychological energy in bachpan period this energy is fixator okay because of this energy only we can able to deal with the anxiety okay so this is what sigmund freud is saying sigmund freud says that there is a libido in every person this libido is responsible for dealing with the anxiety so this libido commonly fixed in the bachpan period itself and psychoanalyst also believes that so much energy goes in controlling the anxiety roz roz hamara life mein bahut sara tensions aane jana hai theek hai these tensions are controlling with the help of energy that energy is called libido this energy is helping to overcome various anxiety in our day to day life now what is the uh, what is the symptoms actually according to psychological model the symptoms are the original conflicts which is uh, the original conflicts hamara life mein we have lot of conflicts what are the con what do you mean by conflicts conflict means we find it difficult to take decision in some situation for example now uh, the government of haryana have uh, asked uh, all the nursing colleges to send the bsc final year student for corona duty aapko pata hai bsc final year students ko corona duty ke liye government bulaya तो बच्चे को अभी डर है ड्यूटी को जाना है नहीं जाना है अगर जाना है अच्छा है नहीं जाना है कॉलेज में कुछ प्रॉब्लम आना है अगर हमारा इंटरनल मार्क कम हो गया ऐसे बच्चे को बहुत कॉन्फ्लिक्स माइंड में है तो व्हाट दे आर टेलिंग मींस दिस कॉन्फ्लिक्ट सेस दैट यू आर हैविंग सम प्रॉब्लम इन यूर लाइफ सम साइकोलॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम इज प्रसेंट वेन यू आर हैविंग द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट when you don't have conflict you can take decision properly that means you are normal so psychoanalysts how they treat actually when we when when you are when you are a physician to treat cardiovascular problem or to treat any kind of respiratory problem what you will use you will use medicine and surgery but psychoanalyst they are using dream analysis they are using dream analysis technique to solve the problem solve the conflict in the person actually mai aapko batayenge dream analysis kya hota hai matlab dream in our life when we are sleeping we are getting dreams day to day life okay for example psychiatric psychiatrist uh, who is doing the psychoanalytic therapy will ask the therapist uh, what he will ask can you explain the dream which you get in the last night so when the patient is telling the dream which he get in the last night the therapist will, will get a clue that in the dream he is seeing some uh, uh, what uh, some devil is coming in the dream or in the dream he is getting some uh, kind of uh, like some person is killing him or he is going and killing some person so with this book by analyzing the dream the therapist comes to idea, comes to a idea this is a conflict like relational problem is present in the like the relational ship problem is present in the dream uh, sorry in the patient so this is called dream analysis dream analysis means we are asking the patient to tell the dream which he get last night and from that we are getting the clue what will be the problem the patient will have okay now another thing so what is the in every model you want to write what is the role of nurse what is the role of the patient and therapist actually according to psychoanalytic model 
the patient is a active participant so what do you mean by active participant the patient speaks freely everything what is coming in the mind that is called free association free association the technique and uh, here what is the role of the therapist the therapist will motivate the patient to speak more and more okay that is the role of the therapist is here that is the when the patient is a active person and the therapist is a shadow person the therapist uses two technique to treat the problem one is free association another one is dream analysis these are the two techniques psychoanalyst therapist using to treat the mental illness abhi aapko samjhayenge free association kya hota hai free association means telling the patient to speak more and more about his problem freely without any disturbance what do you mean by dream analysis ask the patient about the dream which he get in in the last night and when the patient is telling the dream we are getting the clue what is worrying in the patient mind that is dream analysis now comes to the next next thing interpersonal model interpersonal model was first developed by kulaiwan kulaiwan is the therapist uh, sorry uh, who is the proponent who is the proponent of the interpersonal model so what sulaiman believe sulaiman believes that every people behavior evolves around interpersonal relationship for example you are behaving like a student now uh, that is because of the relationship between you and a teacher when you are behaving like a brother or when you are be uh, behaving like a sister that is because of the interrelationship which you are having with your siblings so every behavior is based on the interpersonal relationship like your mother your father they their behavior with you is different because that is a interpersonal relationship between you and your mother some other person like your uncle or your tauji they cannot behave like your mother and father with you because that interpersonal relationship is different so what is interpersonal model says that all our behavior is because of the interpersonal relationship with others so basically why we are developing interpersonal relationship interpersonal relationship we are developing to meet our basic day to day needs <coughs> to meet the basic day to day needs during corona period why we are developing a teacher student relationship kya fayda hai during corona period teacher student relationship mein what is the benefit mainly for teaching we are going to teach you and we are going to complete your syllabus like that interpersonal model says that there is two need one is drive for satisfaction satisfaction matlab khana peena sona okay these are the thing and what is the <coughs> what is the next thing security like when you are living when you are living in the house in this corona period you are safe and secure like that <coughs> when you are when you get married when you get married when you are living with your husband you feel comfortable and safe so for this two reason we are developing the interpersonal relationship and that interpersonal relationship will tell how a person behaves for example if there is no good interpersonal relationship with your roommates hostel mates ke sath there is no interpersonal relationship means har bar you will ladai karte hai theek hai so this is interpersonal model says and what is the <coughs> what is the therapist therapist role kya hai in interpersonal relationship Uh, in this model the therapist will explore the patient life history the patient life history we are collecting detail <coughs> what are the details we are collecting we are collecting family mein kisi ko koi mental problem hai nahi hai kiske sath patient bahut attached hai we are also collecting 
पेशेंट को एनिमी कौन है पेशेंट का रिवेंज का बिहेवियर का कारण क्या है वो सारा डिटेल्स वी आर कलेक्टिंग तो इंटरपर्सनल थेरेपिस्ट कलेक्ट्स डेटा रिलेटेड टू द रिलेशनशिप हिस्ट्री विद द पेशेंट द मेन थिंग इन द थेरेप्यूटिक प्रोसेस इज द करेक्टिव इंटरपर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस फॉर एग्जांपल यू आर सेइंग दैट आई वांट टू मर्डर दैट पर्सन for example in your mind you are having the thought of murdering someone that is homicidal tendency agar zyada hai then we can identify that the main treatment you want to get now is solving the problem between you solving the problem between you <coughs> solving the problem between you and that particular person so that is the main aim of the interpersonal model next one is what is the therapist role the therapist is a participant observer so in psychoanalytical model the therapist role is a shadow person but what is the role of therapist in the interpersonal model participant observer the therapist participate in the therapy directly and he observes how you maintain the interpersonal relationship with others okay next thing what is the other role that is other role of the therapist is to develop trust and empathy towards the patient feelings and problem so hum patient ko trust develop karna hai patient should pehle vishwas karna hai for example if the student is not believing the teacher then what whatever the teacher is saying the student will not do so when there is good uh, trust between two people then only the relationship will develop more okay and what is the other important role of the therapist the therapist will interact with the patient about his real problems in the life the patient details like patient ka beliefs kya hai patient ka values kya hai see hamara life mein every person have some beliefs every person have some philosophy every person have some values so these values we want to find out what patient thinks about the treatment what is the opinion the patient have about mental disorder so these things we need to collect information so that is the role of the therapist in the interpersonal model now what is the role of patient here the patient the main role of the patient the patient shares the concerns and feelings with the therapist so main role of the patient is to express his uh, feelings and express his concern towards the therapist and the therapist will help the patient to meet the goals of the therapy therapist ka dusra role hai therapist will <coughs> help the client to meet the goals of the therapy and help the client to get satisfaction in the personal growth the personal growth mein satisfaction achieve karne ke liye therapist will help the patient okay so this is about interpersonal model next we are going to see the the next model <coughs> next model is social model so what the social theorist what social theorist says that social conditions having more responsibility for our abnormal behavior for our abnormal for all our abnormal behavior the social condition is very very responsible plays a significant role in our deviant behavior <coughs> nowadays in the modern world because of the internet because of uh, this one no? because of the mobile phone bachche getting addicted to uh, games even students are playing the like uh, what uh, games like uh, rummy and they are spending more amount of money bachche is also spending uh, uh, more time in seeing the porn videos so why this is happening because the society has changed 10 years before 
ऐसे फैसिलिटी नहीं है हमारा सोसाइटी में ऐसे कोई फैसिलिटी नहीं है हमारा लाइफ वॉज वेरी सिंपल बट आजकल बहुत सारा प्रॉब्लम कमिंग टू द स्टूडेंट्स लाइफ बिकॉज ऑफ द एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी लाइफ स्मार्टफोन एंड इंटरनेट ओनली so what social theory says that any kind of problem which is abnormal that comes because of the changes in the society only <coughs> and another thing which i have told already in the class any deviance in the is culturally defined for example in america we can do kissing kissing can be done publicly in the street nobody will ask any question but in india if you are doing kissing with another person in the street definitely that is not acceptable so in one culture some behavior is accepted that is considered as normal but in another culture that particular behavior is abnormal so that is what social model says that behavior considered in is normal in one cultural setting may be eccentric in another 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 setting or in another setting that may be a psychotic for example i, I am telling you actually in america in united states that blue color jeans if you are wearing a blue color jeans you will not get any kind of respect actually blue color mein bahut different shade hai on particular blue color jeans why why if you in america if you are wearing that blue color jeans what is the meaning the meaning is uh, in in american culture that blue color jeans is worn only by the beggars beggars pata beggars kon hai bekari hai na bekari hai they only wear that particular blue color jeans in america but in india that blue color jeans which is considered as beggar in america that is considered as fashion in our country okay so here after when you are wearing the blue color jeans please be careful when any american sees you in india they may be thinking that you belongs to that category so that is what social model says that in one culture one thing may be correct but in another culture it can be a abnormal thing now what is the role of therapist and patient the therapist according to social model the therapist is uh, waiting for the patient to ask help actually if the patient is going and asking help then only the therapist will start the treatment if the therapist is not asking any sorry if the patient is not asking any help the therapist will not help the patient that is the main thing and here also the another role is the patient also have the right to approve or reject the recommended therapeutic intervention for example you are admitted in the psychiatric hospital for some mental illness when in the psychiatric hospital you have rights uh you can ask the therapist i need only medicine i don't want electroconvulsive therapy you can ask the therapist because the patient have right to choose the treatment the patient feels that i want to take treatment only in my home i don't want to take treatment in the hospital then that is the rights according to social model patient has the rights to choose your treatment which treatment you need that easily the patient can choose and mainly the another thing the therapy is successful when the patient is satisfied with the changes in the lifestyle actually la, psychiatric problem ko pehle aapki life is bahut zabardast you are very uh, beautiful you are very talented but beech mein psychiatric problem i a uske baad aapki life will become totally damaged social model what says that when you become normal when your life become uh, <coughs> when your life become good like before illness how you were then the social model says that the patient have completely come out of the illness the next model is existential model what do you mean by existential model 
existential model says that the problem is not from the past the problem what the patient is having today that is because of the reason present at, at the current time okay at the correct time that is here and now we, we cannot we cannot say that this behavior this abnormal behavior is only because of the past childhood experiences it is not like that according to existential model any kind of abnormal behavior that is because of the patient's present situation only and existential theorist says that the behavior deviation results when the individual is out of touch with the self or environment so uh, what existential therapy says that abnormal behavior is only because of the patient is out of real world patient does not have touch with the real situation in the life and what is the another thing the person who is self alienated feels helpless sad and self criticism agar aap society ke sath attach nahi hai aapki life mein you will feel helpless you will feel alone you will feel alone every time and you will feel blaming you always that is self criticism if you are not able to live in the real world with the uh, current current situation in the society then you will feel all these things and uh, what is the now let us see what is the role of the therapist the therapist here act as a guide so existential therapist gives support to the patient acting as a guide the therapist also pointing the problem where it is present in the patient life the next thing is the therapist points out what is the problem present in the patient where the problem is present agar aapka marital life mein problem hai or your uh, play or your occupation mein problem hai that will be pointed by the patient and here the therapist is very open and honest and what is the patient role the patient must accept the responsibility given by the therapist for example i am giving i am giving the responsibility to the student to complete your psychiatric nursing file so everybody is doing na like that the therapist says anything the patient has to do it that is a responsibility if the responsibility is present patient will come out of the illness very fast next one is dependence on the therapist is not encouraged dekho therapist ke sath bahut zyada attach zarurat nahi hai once the therapist uh, gives the treatment the role is completed the therapist role is completed the last one is the patient is very active in the therapy and patient is working to meet the challenges given by the therapist for example we are giving new new challenges these challenges the patient has to work out so when the patient is completing all the challenges given by the therapist challenges means activities the patient becomes normal now the last model we are going to see is medical model medical model you know very well medical model is based on the traditional physician patient relationship medical model is based on the traditional physician patient relationship so in this model mainly we are diagnosing the mental illness uh, we are diagnosing the mental illness and based on that we are giving the a uh, treatment so we are diagnosing and we are giving treatment diagnosing ke liye we are using history collection mental status examination neurological assessment like that now we are giving somatic treatment somatic treatment kya hota hai somatic treatment is ect somatic treatment kya hota hai that is ect also we are giving pharmacotherapy pharmacotherapy kya hota hai we are giving antipsychotic drugs we are giving disulfiram we are giving antidepressants these things are comes under the somat uh, so pharmacological therapy and uh, what is the important uh, the main important in the treatment is hospitalization patient has to be admitted in the hospital and treatment has to be given this is very very important
and uh, what is the role of uh, what is the role of therapist the therapist role is to treat the to do the diagnosis and to treat the patient problem to identify the cause of the mental problem this model mainly focus on the diagnosis of mental illness and subsequent treatment that is what i told according to medical model the therapist role is to identify the problem that is diagnose and the plan for treatment and administer the treatment and basically we give electroconvulsive therapy pharmacotherapy these are the therapies given and medical mo medical model proposes deviant symptom is because of the abnormality in the central nervous system medical model says that this uh, uh, this is due to uh, abnormal central nervous system function okay so these are the various conceptual models in psychiatric nursing if you have any doubt you can ask now so today topic i have completed so if you have doubt please you can ask now kisi ko doubt nahi no sir okay beta today class complete monday you will have test now i will give you the topics in the google classroom you can study that topic okay okay sir okay beta thank you bye bye thank you, thank you sir, sir.